So, before I uh, go ahead and build the Street 7 Briggs, I've um, decided to uh, put together a dedicated uh, three cylinder here. I ran a three a little bit there as part of the six, but uh, this one's uh, just three cylinders. So, took a little bit of doing there. Uh, distributor almost had to run in with the big flywheel and starter there, but I, uh, I didn't want to got number one engine and change it to be the distributor drive so I uh, had to do what I had to do there just to keep things simple plus I had to uh, originally I had it mounted at the front of the frame but there was no starter hole or distributor holes and so I moved it down here to where there was a starter hole and uh, just had to drill the holes for the distributor mount there and uh, this is the straight six distributor um, running it the opposite direction which is will provide spark advance this time instead of spark retard that I had before but what I'm doing to make it as a run as a three cylinder I'm just running three dead uh, plug wires here uh, they just uh, they'll fire but a lot simpler than doing it any other way so so got her all bolted down here now I just have to put the intake manifold and carburetor but what I was going to show was uh, how I uh, check the uh, spark timing and uh, I use a timing light here and this isn't going to work because I need something to hold the camera so I'll go get a tripod okay so once again got my timing light here all wired up and got my ignition system powered up oh there we go okay well it is now so then good thing about old points uh, type uh, system um, they'll fire at like practically zero RPM so it's going to fire somewhere in this area here just before top dead center right there right around the top dead center mark as you can see how slow I can turn it there. that's about five degrees before I'd say so that's how I uh, time the engine, uh, know where the spark is firing. It's got centrifugal advance in this distributor, so it will be firing uh, a bit earlier than that um, as the RPMs come up. So, but just wanted to document how I uh, time the the engine there with a timing light and uh, basically just spinning the flywheel over by hand. We've done most of the engines this way, uh, although we have used the starter on some. It depends if I have a second person or not, but today I'm working by myself here, so got to do everything. And it's only three cylinders long, too. I, I couldn't do this on the uh, six or seven or eight cylinder. Too hard to spin over like that. So still working on a bridge three here. Um, so just showing the piston phasing and valves uh, just to guarantee I've got it right. So number one here is at top dead center, so it will be firing. Goes down on power stroke. Number two, meanwhile, so this, the firing order is one, two, three. Uh, number two is coming up on compression. Then it fires at 240 degrees after uh, number one then so so number two is firing then number three starts coming up on compression and then it's at the top uh, well it'll be uh, 480 degrees after um, number one so one full turn plus 120 degrees basically and then we spin another two-thirds of a turn and number one's back at the top fire again so so it looks like we've got them phased correctly for a one two three firing order three cylinders only have you only have two choices you can go one three two or one two three and uh, so it, it, well, what it boils down to is it boils to three two one or one two three that's the only, really the only choices you have, so I figured just go one, two, three, and it should be should sound the same and everything. 
So uh, here I've got the intake manifold and the uh, single carburetor uh, put on the three cylinder there. The spark plugs are on. So it's basically uh, ready to go at this point. So I'll make a video of it running. 